subversive as I am, I would not have it otherwise. I must know that which distresses you. You are kind to stop at my account. It is all that I deserve. The fight who is Yara. She pays a price which should be mine. If you would aid me, I would bid you to follow. Worshippers of the fell <laughs> servant Griffin Sack have preyed upon the surface dwellers to feed their sacrificial rites since an age forgotten. And all that time I have been here, not but aghast, unable to stop them. But I can be of some assistance. I will grant an ingress to their temple. Gaze now upon the fields of dead. Victims of the coiled cultists. What's he talking about? What dead? Oh, right, 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 right. my bad. Okay, there's lots of gravy stones. Like a lot. Like a lot, a lot. Like, we get it. Is a lot. Wait a minute. Gravestones? This used to be the bottom of the ocean. How does that make any sense? It's called scene setting, Valentini. Based on your arsenal, I assume you will not blanch at your task. You must slay the coiled shields <laughs> and retrieve the five pieces of your voice shattered by the dark magic. The fiends! But why her voice? They twist her angelic voice into a dark resonance which summons the fell serpent. Curse them. They befoul Yara's memory, and in doing so, they bind her soul to this mortal plane. I will not rest until she is free. That fateful day, Yara and I were enjoying a midday sail. She was singing me a song of such beauty that I nearly wept. But then, the sea roiled around us. Not again! Oh. 
It seems to be quite deadly, so keep doing that. I dove in pursuit without hesitation, swimming down and down, a fire of devotion in my veins. Then, just as I thought my strength would fail me, I crossed her hand. <clears throat> into the blackening sea. The creatures raking me with their talons, but I did not let go. My lifeblood swirled around me, salty brine burning in my lungs, but I did not let go.
the last thing I saw as my vision faded. Her delicate face, twisted and wide-eyed in terror, wordlessly pleading, but I could not save her. I failed. <clears throat> of the Tizox is ended, but this tale is not. Now, place the arcane devices upon the pedestals, and prepare yourself, for only through the crucible of Grisnazak's death will Yara's voice be mended. of her spirit, but we will make it right. What is... Can you hear it? I hear nothing. Her song! The last song she ever sang for me! It's even more beautiful than I remember. My dearest Yara, to my great and eternal shame, I could not save you in life, but even in death, I have not abandoned you. I only pray that my actions this day will finally grant you the peace which you have been wrongfully denied for so very long. Please, make her whole again. just gotten you back. 
we can be together again. But you must let go. As you wish, my love. Huh? <laughs>